From Boca Raton, Florida, the home of Lynn University, and site of the 2012 final presidential debate, this is Beyond the Brief. Welcome everyone, this is Beyond the Brief. I am Fernando Arias. And I am Gabriela Regalado. Last weekend, the 50th anniversary of Lynn University was celebrated and many events took place, which today we will be informing you about. But first, we have a very special story for you. That's right. History Channel's The Bible series has attracted an enthusiastic audience, reaching over 10 million viewers every week. However, the controversy of the series' representation of Satan, who arguably resembles President Obama, has been a big issue over the past week. A reporter, Azra Oak, follows up on the Lynn University's community. History Channel's The Bible series has attracted an eager audience. The miniseries has reached over 10 million viewers every Sunday since its premiere. Out there. Opening the hearts. However, the controversy over the adaptation of Satan resembling President Obama has been a big issue over the last week, which has been reflected by a drop in its ratings. We follow up with the Lean community. Have you watched the Bible miniseries? Yes, I have. I've watched the Bible miniseries. What do you think about the Bible series? I think uh, it's a great new show uh, that just came out on History Channel. Very entertaining, very educative. Uh, it gives you a clear perspective of what the Bible represents. How much influence on the viewers? Um, I believe the Bible uh, has had uh, much effect on the viewers. Um, according to uh, the ratings, there have been many, many viewers throughout the last weeks, um, you know, breaking records compared to other very um, uh, known TV shows. I think the Bible is um, a TV series that, you know, helps the viewer understand uh, a more or less um, neutral idea of what the Bible represents. Um, of course the Bible can be interpreted in many ways, uh, however the TV series uh, gives the viewer a clear perspective on you know things that the Bible represents without any um, outside opinion, ideas, uh, controversies being involved in. What are your thoughts on the set and resembling President Obama controversy? Um, well as I have watched the Bible um, the part where the devil uh, appears, um, I was not quite uh, uh, realizing that indeed he might have had some resemblance to President Obama. However, I do not believe uh, it was made on purpose. The Bible representatives denied the certain Obama likeness and respond to critics and viewers. History Channel has the highest respect for President Obama. The series was produced with an international and diverse cast of respected actors. It's unfortunate that anyone made this false connection. Histories the Bible is meant to enlighten people on its rich stories and deep history. This is Azra Shigirok reporting for Beyond the Brief. Coffee with the President is an event that takes place every year on Parents Weekend. This event allows parents to talk with professors, advisors, and even mingle with other staff members in order to get acquainted. Faculty, staff, students, and parents got the chance to talk to President Ross. Matt Pepperidge has a story. In lots of different areas, President uh, Ross spoke to faculty, year, students, uh, and parents about the 2012-2013 school year so far. Everyone enjoyed an arrangement of breakfast and coffee. President is a tradition that we have every year um, on Parents Weekend, but because we put a Parents and Alumni Weekend together, we decided to still keep it because we wanted to uh, gather parents with faculty members so they can ask any questions they have, also to hear about our 50th anniversary, and we wanted to also have a good time and uh, share a little bit about the debate for those who could not visit with us. Students weighed in on thoughts of breakfast with the president. It was very good. It was including, you know, the alumnus as well as giving credit to the students um, on the debate. But more, more importantly, I have to say that I like the vision that's coming here to Lynn. You know, it's not a, a idle university, but it's more or less we're looking to expand in every every aspect of the university. And what did you think of the breakfast? Uh, the breakfast was great. You know, it was definitely a good networking tool, not only just for a student coming here, but also as well as you know to meet the alumni as well as you know see our our president in action. So. Yeah. Well, 
any time you can get a, a, a family together uh, it really is important because you're bringing together everybody. You're making sure that everybody counts. That is what Lynn does best. It articulates this spirit of being together and, and working together as a group rather than the individual, that we are a family and that we're moving in the right direction. I think that's what I took away from this breakfast. President Ross discussed the University Commons, which is the next big project on campus. After the Bobby Campbell Stadium and the uh, International Business Center, that's our, we're setting our sights on that as our next major project. Uh, it'll be sort of the place where you go for everything, uh, whether it's dining or the career center or um, student uh, government. Uh, so we really, we've been lacking that space for some time. Uh, we've planned it out for the middle of our campus and uh, that'll be our next big fundraising project. So it's an exciting one, but it's one that's, you know, we've grown to 2,000 students now uh, and it's, it's desperately needed. Breakfast with the President turned out to be a great experience. Students got the opportunity to see what goes on at the event like this. Parents got to meet with faculty and president of the university. This is Matt Perpich reporting for Beyond the Brief. Last Friday, under the beautiful early morning Florida sun, the groundbreaking of the new International Business Center took place on campus near the World Performing Arts Center. Jessica Bugin reports. Uh, my name's Tammy Reyes. I'm from Nicaragua, and I'm very excited to represent my flag and I'll be walking today at the International Business Center groundbreaking. Today is a very exciting day for Lynn University. Students, alumni, faculty, and members of the community are here to celebrate the groundbreaking of the International Business Center. I'm Andrea, and I'm representing uh, San Marino, the Republic of San Marino. I'm the only one actually from this country here at Lynn. I think this is uh, such a great opportunity for, for the university in such an exciting time. Um, in admissions, I've, I've been part of the, of the Office of Admissions team now for six years. And I think this just uh, marks a, an enormous uh, uh, step in a, in a long road to go. Um, most of our students uh, that come to the university and, and show an interest in, in our College of Business, I think this will make a tremendous impact. Uh, and I just look forward to, uh, to what it would look like and what it will do for our enrollment and, and just for our alums. And being a graduate of the School of Business myself, I am just can't help but be excited for it. As you can see, students and faculty alike are starting the groundbreaking for the new business school. It was really nice. I loved it. It was awesome. Especially the planes there. It was really good. Yeah, it was unexpected. Yeah. And does this make you guys excited to attend in the future? Yes, yeah. it does actually. Currently I go to uni in England and I'm actually thinking about transfer. <laughs> yeah, it's. I really want to come here. And I've heard like good things about it because my sisters go here, they tell me it's so good. So I was 1981 graduate of the College of Boca Raton and they invited me to uh, break ground on the Schmidt Building. I welled up. It's very emotional to see where this institution has come. I'm just so proud to have been part of it. It was just so uh, exciting to know that, uh, that there are people who believe in this institution as much as I do and they put their, put their money where their mouth is. I feel exhilarated. I mean, this is just everything for us and so exciting and it's just so great for our students and the future. You know, as, as you can see represented, we have students from 86 foreign countries and to have truly an international school of uh, students and international school of business, um, you know, second to none. So it, it is a dream come true. Um, my name's Cliff Bowman. I'm with Gensler, uh, and I'm based in New York. We've been working with Lynn, uh, actually started back in uh, 2008. We started working on the master plan. This building is part of the master plan vision, and we've been working on the building for the last uh, about seven months. The building is being set for uh, uh, to be as flex flexible as possible. And because of the nature of the business uh, teaching, changes uh, year to year from from curriculum to curriculum. So we've provided lots of collaboration spaces for students to work together. We've provided lots of, uh, you know, a full Wi-Fi uh, system inside the building, uh, lots of opportunity to use your iPads in the, in the building. And there's different types of spaces for uh, students and, and faculty to engage in. It's amazing and I think I took it as an opportunity. Uh, when they called me, they said, Aldo, you were chosen to carry the flag of Haiti, I took it as a privilege. Because you know, uh, this, is a very, this is a large international community here, 
so for my country to be represented that was that was amazing this morning i had to go to work i canceled my work to come here that's amazing it is for me so it says it all Today was a significant day for Lynn University, not only for the campus, but also for the future educational opportunities. It was an inspiring event with a flag procession, speeches by major donors, and even a surprise from the aviation community. We are all in much anticipation for the International Business Center. This was Jessica Bugen from Beyond the Brief. Following the groundbreaking ceremony, Lynn University hosted a cocktail party for staff, alumni, and current students to celebrate Lynn's 50th anniversary and future success to come. Missy Montgomery reports. Lynn University kicked off its 50th anniversary celebration by hosting a cocktail party for staff, alumni, and current students. Guests had to register online in advance or out the door in order to attend. The attire was formal to semi-formal. In attendance was President Ross, who made a speech retelling the story of how Lynn was found. Guests mingled outside and inside the party, sharing stories of their favorite memories and experiences at Lynn. the party, there was a live band covering popular hits, such as Rehab, I'll Be There, and What's My Name. Also, there was an arrangement of food, ranging from Cuban sandwiches to Mexican bandits. An open bar was available to any guest 21 feet. A dance floor covered the center of the room with Lynn's 50th anniversary logo. Throughout the evening, a slideshow of past and present pictures of Lynn's students and faculty was displayed on two projector screens. This is Missy Montgomery reporting for The Brief. That's all for today. We hope the coming month of April will fill us with as many fun and exciting events on and off campus as this month of March has. Be sure to check us out on the Eiffel social media networks on Facebook and Twitter. I am Fernando Arias. And I am Gabriela Regalado. And this is Beyond the Brief. Have a great week.